there is both that and much more. She is a true member of the community and a treasured friend to many in the Christian community. Linda is a true gospel woman. Please welcome Linda to share her thoughts with us. remaining 
true fishing ports on the entire eastern seaboard. You have somehow managed to embrace, hold on to, and maintain your fishing heritage and the heritage of just going to sea. It's very unusual, something you should be very proud of, and it's something that I'm very proud of. Now I get back to what I said about the difficulty in expressing feelings with words, saying that I love Gloucester. I love Gloucester, that just, it falls way short in expressing um, a strong emotional connection that I feel when I now see that little speck on the chart, Cape Ann, Gloucester, Massachusetts. I wrote a book called The Hungry Ocean. Uh, some of you may be aware that that title is from a Shakespearean sonnet. I've learned through the course of my travels that that title means different things to different people. And I can think of no time or place that that title is more significant and meaningful than right here and right now. To me, the title refers to the ocean's ability to totally consume. I've been fishing since I was a kid. I have been consumed by it. I know it sounds cliche to say you're drawn to or taken with something. I like the way I feel when I'm at sea. I am passionate about catching fish. Nothing makes me prouder than to say I am a fisherman. It's unlikely that will ever change at this point. Simply stating that I love what I do is um, often not enough for people. They want me to elaborate. Wait, what is it that you love so much about fishing and being at sea? A much younger Linda Greenlaw would have shrugged and said, blood on the deck. That's what it's all about, blood on the deck. Catch those great big fish, the deck is littered with fish, you're filling up the fish hold, you feel that tug on the line and someone yells, fish on. That's what it's all about. Well, maturity changes perspective. And at 55 years old, uh, my answer has changed. And I now know that what I love and have always loved about fishing is the sheer optimism of it. True fishermen, truly successful fishermen, have an undying optimism. It's next hook, next section, next set, next toe, next trap, next trip, next season. That is a truly successful fisherman. When I say success, I'm not talking about blood on the deck. I'm talking about that sense of total fulfillment that one gets when they're living, and yes, sometimes dying, doing what they love. Um, I often talk about optimism, and I can honestly say that that optimism is, is really what separates the fishermen from the boys, and it is precisely what I love about my life. Um, and I'm not going to offer any prayers that's, you know, for someone else to do. As I just, I know that I've said that words really fall short in conveying feelings. But words are all I have. So you'll have to accept my sincere and heartfelt thanks for being here for the fishermen of Gloucester. I think that this this ceremony is it's a fitting remembrance to people who have gone down to the sea in ships. But it's also, just as importantly to me, a huge tribute to those of us who continue. So thank you for being here.